After having quite an exhausting week, I decided to show you guys how I did the effects from last week's video. These effects. The program I'm using is Final Cut. The one thing I always do is always end up adding this, going to the generator and adding custom. It's just a black background. I always add that first. Now this is the drone shot that had the water in it that I used to do the effect. So I'm gonna take this, drag it in down here. I usually adjust it on the timeline. I don't know why. It's probably a stupid habit. So now we go to the video of me walking, which was... Sometimes I adjust within this section, which is probably better. So you take this little yellow bar, shrink it to where you want it. These people in this shot right here were all actually standing in the way, so I asked them to leave. <laughs> I hope I wasn't too rude. Bam. Now I take that, drag it, set it on top. Pretty easy. Usually get rid of the sound because I don't need sound for that. I'll have music over it. There we are. But you can see, obviously, how did I get rid of this sand and all this stuff. Okay, first actually I click this and I adjust the coloring. Because the coloring is good, but it can be better. So we go over here, add this coloring, bam, boom, go to the top. I have a preset here. I made a preset, so call it Beach Pop. And see now, see how much more colorful this video is now? If, if you guys are doing videos, I highly suggest you guys use color correction. It's not hard to learn, but it's not easy either. Um, take some time. Sometimes your videos might have a little too much or a little not enough of something, but totally worth it because it makes it look so much more beautiful when you use it. That's with it. This is without. Look at that. Holy cow. Such an almost grainy video. And then, bam, beautiful. Look at this greenery. Anyways, so I add that, and then I figure, okay, I want to add something into that water, because that water is, yeah, it's nice water, but after a while, you're going to get bored flying over the water. At least I will. I don't know. I get bored easily. So, I wanted to add something into there, so what I did is I saw my video of me walking, I was like, oh, that might be cool. So, I just experimented. When you just try new things, some amazing stuff can happen. And then I suggest every one of you guys experiment with your videos. You can do some pretty amazing things when you just try new things. So, so I decided I'm gonna put, I want to put this on top of the water. So what I always do first is I always go to blend mode. Uh, it's right here on the side of your video. You click your video and uh, all this options come up on the side. And you just uh, go right here, down to the bottom right here. And then you just go to blend mode and instead of normal which is obviously normal um, you can adjust it all these different options I usually end up clicking different ones to figure out which one I like it's never always the same so I so I experiment so subtract okay that looks kind of cool but you don't see the image of the actual beach as good it just looks like if I wanted to do something trippy so, I didn't use that. Darkened? Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Okay. So, I was like, darkened, maybe. Multiply. Alright, that's even better. It's got more of a shadowy feel to it. You know, but my biggest concern is, look, you see, you see the beach that I'm walking on, you see the line that I'm walking on. I mean, we gotta figure out how to get rid of that stuff. So, what I did... So I click this right here, so I bring it down. This is what I did at first. I brought it down to here where I just barely see the reflection. And then I, tra I trace it through. Okay, just a reflection, just a reflection, just a reflection. Cool. All right. So, but I decided I don't like right here. You see to me too clearly. You don't see a shadow. You don't see a silhouette as good. It doesn't look as silhouette-y. Silhouette-y? I don't know. I just made it up. So I decided, okay, I'm going to start maybe somewhere right here after I kind of fall, as you can see. <laughs> I started it right there. So I adjust the video to there. We have it. Okay. Better. But now I got this black line. 
How do I get rid of this black line? Okay, so I had to get rid of this line. I had to adjust myself at a more angle. I didn't, I didn't like the fact that I was walking on a straight line this way when the drone's going this way. So I turned the video like, like this and made it so I'm going at an angle now. But, as you can see, now I have the sand in the video again. And I still have this thing, so I decided, okay, well, I'm gonna fix this right now. Now this is something that's a little bit more advanced, and it took me a while to understand this and to learn this. Um, I went down here to masks. The first thing I did was draw a mask. So I take the mask, drop the mask in the video that I wanna mask, which is the video of me walking. Then I get rid of this and it gives me a pen. Now I click like crazy. Not just anywhere, but I draw across that line that I don't want. And I'll even go like super close because I want it to be really precise. So I'll do like a 120, 200. Yeah, see. I'll go all the way to the end. Put that dot there. Put the next dot up here, and then just go dot crazy. This may take a while. And then, when you're just about done, you click the first dot that you put up there, and then it connects them all together. Boom, you look, you don't see me anymore, all you see is the, the edge, the line. So you go to invert mask, right here, and you invert it, and then bam. So, there you go, that, that's how you get rid of that. But, now you can see there's still an edge right here, that you need to get, we need to get rid of, and you still see the sand, and other stuff, so. I'll move the screen up, so you can see the sand. I need to get rid of. And, and now, not only that, you have uh, this clear line that's in here, which you didn't have before. So I'm gonna show you what to do with that. Now we do a gradual mask. Gradual mask will help us help us get rid of these edges and look blended into the picture. So I'll shrink this so you can see a little bit better. And I'll take the gradual mask, drop it into the picture. See, blend it in. I can adjust it. Let me get rid of this. Anytime you add something, you gotta make sure this is off. So, you, um, just something I learned. That's pretty good right there. I'll add another one for the top. Blend that in. And I think I added one in the sides too, which is crazy. I think I added four of them. I didn't even realize that. Now I adjust the adjust the angle that I had it at somewhere like that. So now that's all done, I actually end up changing it to darken. And as you see, the line is gone. And the beginning and the end of me walking, I added cross dissolve right here. And to make it look more cinematic with the music, I slowed down my walking a little bit. So I went, clicked the video, went to here, did slow 50, and that's how I did it. Just to get the full effect, I'll add the music to this. Here it is. I'm sure it's probably a little bit different from my original, um, but that's how I did it. So you guys know, yes, I hope you guys were able to learn from this. So thank you guys for watching and uh, hope you guys learned something. Thanks for always uh, liking, subscribing, and sharing with your friends. <laughs> Those things really do help a lot and help me to continue making videos and whatever you guys want to see in future videos, feel free to comment below. All right, everybody, have a great day. God bless. And remember, spark a heart, change a life. All right, see you guys next week.